how do you know if your chicken has stopped laying? Today I'm going to show you. G'day there, I'm Dana from Piwaka Cavalli Homestead. My battery is dying on my camera, so at any moment now it's going to cut off and then I'm going to have to go and change it, but I'm going to make the most of it still working. I am hiding from the wind and trying to stay out of the sun as well, so I'm currently in our hay shed, or what's left of our hay shed, we've only got half a bale. Sorry, the battery died and the baby woke up. <laughs> anyway, there are 10 reasons why your chickens might have stopped laying. So I'm going to whip through those and then I'm going to tell you what to look for in a chicken that has stopped laying and also some things you can do to get your chicken starting laying again. Chickens need 14 hours of daylight a day to be able to produce an egg. If you're getting less than 14 hours of daylight you may well find that your egg production has dropped off quite significantly. Chickens will usually slow right down in winter um, and um, this is just part of their natural cycle. And so they need those full 14 hours, otherwise they'll start laying every other day or every third day or eventually they may well stop altogether. This often coincides with the chicken molting. So when the chicken molts, they will often go off the lay. This is because they are trying to use all the extra protein and nutrients to actually grow their new feathers. It's a natural time for the chickens to have a rest from laying. If you are a commercial egg producer or you want your chickens to continue laying, then um, Making sure they have some fake light will help prevent them going into the molt and keep them laying eggs all through the winter. If your chickens are ill, they've got some parasites, um, they might just be unwell, maybe worms, mites, those sorts of things. They steal the nutrients from the chicken and will, can stop them laying or um, at least slow their laying right, right down. So if you need to check for your chickens, um, mites, you'll often see them if they're on the... Um, the perches or the nesting boxes you can rub your thumb across and if you see a red smear that's chicken blood it's you've squashed some mites um, you can do the same on their legs sometimes they get leg mites um, so there's different ways of treating each of those but it may well be time to worm your flock and um, treat the coop for mites if you've just got your chickens from somewhere else stress can make them stop laying it's also the case if suddenly you've got a new dog or they're being harassed by a dog or there's children harassing them that sort of thing um, a harassed chicken will lay a lot less and maybe even stop altogether sometimes when you move chickens from one house to another it can take a full week before they start laying again if your chickens have a nutrient deficiency they won't be able to produce the eggs the same they need plenty of calcium magnesium and vitamin D to be able to make the shells um, and as well as that they also need plenty of um, salt to be able to function properly and to be able to make the egg whites if your chickens are dehydrated or for some reason your waterer isn't working properly you'll find that your egg production will drop off because eggs are largely like they're 90% or more um, made up of water and so if your chickens are dehydrated their egg production will drop right away so often in the heat of summer you may find that if they're not able to get enough water you may need to add if you're using those waterers like what we have that they have to peck at to get the wee drops of water um, sometimes they just can't physically get enough water for themselves um, from those at, uh, when it's particularly hot. So it might be a good time to add a pan of water for them to drink from as well. And along with that, if you're experiencing extremes of temperature, either really, really hot or really, really cold, especially if it's non-seasonal, so you get a massive cold snap during your summer or a really hot snap during winter, I don't know who gets those, but anyway... If the seasons swap too quickly, the chickens can go get a bit confused and um, they, the egg laying production will just go offline for a while. The other things you need to check for are, are your chickens actually off the lay or are they actually sneaking around hiding eggs like these ones over here? Alternatively, you might be struggling with what we have had in our older flock. We ended up having just to cull the lot and start again. Was we had egg eaters, and if you don't get onto it fast enough, you end up with all of them becoming egg eaters, and suddenly your egg production, ours went from about 30 a day down to one or two if we were lucky, and just a lot of shells, egg yolk all over the place, and chickens running around with egg yolk on their beak. It was a dead giveaway that that was actually what the problem was. 
and of course if your chickens are too old they're not going to be laying anymore so your hybrid chickens so in New Zealand we have brown shavers and highlines in the states I know you have one called a golden comet I'm not sure what other ones there are but those chickens are bred to lay an egg every day for two years and then pretty much stop you'll get a few more eggs out of them but it certainly won't be every day like it was previously um, your heritage breeds are more likely to lay regularly not necessarily every day but very regularly for sort of four to five years some of them are even still laying after sort of seven eight nine years um, but they're not laying quite as regularly so just be aware of how old your flop is it might just be that they've aged out and it's time for some new ones what you're looking for in a healthy laying chicken is they have a nice bright red fleshy healthy looking comb a chicken that's not laying their comb will look sort of dry and crusty pale um, and old it just doesn't look so healthy a hen that is laying regularly for you will have a really soft abdomen one that has given up laying their abdomen becomes quite hard um, and if you've got a layer and a non-layer one in each hand or you hold one and then hold the other the difference becomes quite obvious as to which ones have soft tummies and which ones have hard ones the next thing you need to look for is under their tail look at their vent a laying chicken will have a nice pink moist vent um, and a chicken that is not laying any longer her vent will be pale dry small and just not looking like it's laying eggs and a chicken that's walking around sulking with her tail down often that means they're unwell or that they're old um, if you see their tail pumping like this it means that they may well have an egg stuck so that's quite a crucial thing to be aware of um, and they need some help immediately a chicken will die from a stuck egg very quickly because while they're in the process of laying an egg they can't poop and when they can't poop the poop backs up and you end up with a very sick chicken so if you notice a chicken sulking with her tail down and her tail sort of pumping get her some help as soon as possible she's probably got an egg stuck if she's just walking around looking sulky and sad with her tail down she might be unwell she might be old she probably won't be laying a laying chicken walks around proudly with her tail up in the air these are our laying girls and you can see that they've all got nice bright red fleshy looking combs now it's quite windy out of the hay shed but um Hopefully this doesn't make it sound too windy. I've caught this young lady to show you. You can see her comb is nice and red and fleshy. She's one of our young layers, I can tell, because we've, thank you, we've zip tied their legs um, so that we know which one's which. We couldn't get any bands over, over lockdown. So if we tip her upside down, see her tummy is really nice and soft and squishy. We try and find her vent and amongst all these feathers you can see I don't know if you can her vents quite moist and pale pink thank you lady now all these ladies in here are layers they're um, all under two years old so I don't think I'm gonna find any dry dusty ones to show you ones that aren't laying but hopefully that helps you see what it is you're looking for in a healthy laying chicken now there are some things you can do if your chickens aren't laying to make them get back on the lay one thing that's uh, an old traditional idea is to feed them hot pepper so cayenne pepper something like that for their meals for three days in a row and then every other day until they start laying again whether or not that works I don't know or whether actually until they start laying again is actually just until the weather comes right or the sun comes up more or until their molts finished so it's not something we have tried chickens I uh, as far as I understand can't taste the chili they only can taste bitter things which is all they need to keep them away from poisonous plants so it doesn't hurt them but I don't I'm not sold on whether or not it works I haven't tried it myself making sure your chickens have enough light is key um, 
or whether you decide just to wait until you know that the weather is light again or whether you decide to put in some artificial lighting but um, they do need to be getting that 14 hours of light maybe turn their coop around so that they're getting the sun as soon as it gets up in the morning maybe consider adding a window to their coop so that they're getting as much light as possible in where they're perching make sure your chickens are getting a 16 to 18 percent protein feed um, especially if they're molting if they're molting you may even like to throw in some extra protein like mealworms even some cooked scrambled eggs believe it or not um, your own meat scraps that sort of thing uh, keeping that protein up will help them get through that molt really quickly and get them back on the lay as soon as possible if you suspect your chickens might be unwell you can buy a liquid wormer that you put in their water um, and you can also mite treat both the birds and their housing um, so that's always a good thing to do on a routine basis anyway just to keep your chickens in really good health but if you've got egg supply problems it's worth checking to see if maybe they might need that done as well keeping the vitamins up we have bought previously a mixture which i am actually planning on making once our onions and garlic greens are ready uh, where it's a mixture of apple cider vinegar garlic and onion greens and kelp all fermented together and then you add that to their feed uh, add it to their water sorry um, and this is a really good way of making sure they're getting all the extra minerals and beneficial bits and pieces out of that. Also make sure your chickens have got oyster grit available um, for the calcium, magnesium, that sort of thing. And getting plenty of sunlight and fresh greens will help them get the vitamin D they need as well. And finally to help prevent egg eating and egg hiding, make sure that you have plenty of nesting boxes, that they're nice and dark and secure. The darker they are, the less likely you are of having chickens eating the eggs because they can't see them. Um, and so, yeah, giving them a really nice safe place to lay their eggs. It may pay to coop them up for a while um, within a run to make sure that they are regularly using their own nesting box. If you do that for chickens that are used to running out and hiding their eggs, you may find they don't lay for a couple of days. They can delay it if they want to. Um, so it can take a week or two of having them pinned up regularly to make sure that they are regularly using those nesting boxes. I hope you found that video useful. If you have, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you videos twice a week on growing, preserving your own food and other homesteading bits and pieces. We'll see you in the next one.